Now many acids are used as food additives. That means it can enhance the taste. So for example, we can use citric acid or tartaric acid to enhance the taste, give it a more sharper taste. And the acidity would also prevent the growth of microbes. So but while enhancing the taste, it would also be used as a preservative. Citric acid is also a useful anti antioxidant. It prevents microbe growth in canned foods. Leaving agents. We have fumaric acid, citric acid and phosphoric acid. These acids react with sodium hydrogen carbonate to release carbon dioxide and this reaction would make it a leaving agent. They are present in packaged foods such as biscuits and cake mixes. Now acetic acid in vinegar helps to preserve foods such as pickles and chutney. It is this ability to prevent being attacked from moles and microbes that make it better. So acidic sulfur dioxide, which is gas, can be uh, gassed onto dried fruits such as apricots and this will prevent the growth of microbes. Ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C, is an antioxidant, which means it prevents the spoiler, spoilage by oxidization. The vitamin C alters the pH, so we know that vitamin C is acidic, so it lowers the pH so that the enzymic act reactions do not occur or are slowed down. So what they do is they kill the enzymes, denature the enzymes by altering the pH. Phosphoric acid is added to many soft drinks, example cokes, to increase the sharpness of the drink. Now we have covered the uh, pH and acidity topic, the section 1 part where we looked at acids and bases and how they act in aqueous solutions. We also looked at how you, uh, acids and bases are used in day-to-day -day life as well as industrial uses.